to be Christian is to be different. Right? To be Christian is to be different. And with the gifts and with the callings and with the talents and with the opportunities, they are not there and utilized for our own self-gratification. They are not there to make us feel big and bad and that we're better than everybody else. That's not what they're there for. Let's go back and um, read 1 Peter 4, verses 10 and 11. As God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts, use them well to serve others. This is so important. Use them well to serve others. Like I said, I take I thank God for this opportunity. Two years. Two years we've been coming here. Two years God has given me opportunity to speak about Jesus, to speak about faith, to speak about things that concern him, to speak about things that concern us as a people. And to be so honest, this space, this show has definitely helped me in my growth in my faith it truly has because it it has required me to really seek the lord about what he wants to give to the people of god i don't ever get on here and be like oh this is what i want to talk about oh this is a hot topic this ain't the wendy williams show this ain't the real daytime You know, there have been times where it's it's the day of filming and I'm just like, God, you have not spoken to me yet (laughs) about what you what you want me to say, what you want me to do. So 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 what 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 is this week's episode going to be about? There have been weeks where I have planned in advance, planned the day before, written a written a, a lesson the day of, and there has been a few times where God was like, let me speak through you. Let the Holy Spirit just speak through you. Press play. Press record. And I have to dare to trust and dare to be different because flesh will say, let me just get a list of things that people are talking about. Let me get a list of things that people want to see, want to hear. But I have to dare to be different and say, not my will, but your will be done. I honestly won't even move unless God say move. I won't. <laughs> I remember, um, and I've learned so much during this show, so especially listening to the voice of God. I remember I was supposed to be recording an episode, and the Lord told me not to. He told me don't record a thing. No, this week you're going to rest. And I was like, okay. Um, what? <laughs> because I, we have a team of people that that is working around the show. And I felt afraid to let the team know, you know what? I'm not doing an episode this week. God told me to be still. Now, we didn't we we produce a new episode after new episode after new episode for 2 years and there's just been some times where God was like, no. Yeah, you got a topic that you chose, but I'm telling you to be still. And that is something that I'm grateful for because when I say that this show has helped me grow in my faith, 
It truly has because I'm more sensitive to hearing what God is saying. I'm more uh, fearful. And in, in when I say fearful, I, I'm using fear as in reverence, reverence, reverence of God to not just be going out here doing what I want to do without cons- consulting him. I just can't be out here doing what I want to do because this is not, yes, my name is on it, but the Holy Spirit drives this show. He does. Yes, I'm the one at the mic, but the Holy Spirit is the inspiration for these conversations. And that is the part of daring to be different. Daring to be different is daring to be Christian. It's just daring to be obedient, which is daring to listen to the voice of God, even when your flesh wants to do something else. And I tell you that the gifts that God has given us is not to glorify ourselves, but it is to serve others. And I'll say that again. The gifts that God has given us is not to glorify ourselves, but it is to serve others. If you are someone that has a gift given by God, whether if you have you have the ability to teach, to to influence, to to um to encourage, to prophesy, to to lead, whatever your gift to sing, to dance, whatever your gift is. If you are gratified with attention, with praise, with recognition, then it's time for realignment. I'll say that again. If you are a person that is gratified with attention, with praise, with recognition, if that is what fuels you to keep going, when people say, oh girl, um, I just love how you do this and, and you just get all the praises and, and you, and people just blowing your head up and, and, and liking all your stuff and your numbers is high on, on your views and this, that, and the other. if you're doing it for that, it's time to realign because what we don't want to do people of God is have our gifts, right? These beautiful gifts that God has given us, but then they become idols, Then they become idols. And then the intended purpose of giving God glory becomes dismissed because our vanity becomes more important. The number of likes that I get becomes more important. The number of comments in the comment section becomes more important. The more endorsements that I get in partnerships and followers and and recognition and praise and and, and invites that I receive, the more people I connect with becomes more important than the intended purpose of what God has given you the gift for in the first place. It's time to realign. And I'm going to be real with you. That was me. Hello. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. It was it was actually before I started the show. I had all the equipment. I had um I had a whole bunch of and I think about it now I'm just like Kendra, I don't, I don't ever do this. I had I think I had an entire season of episodes and topics written out for like maybe 12 weeks or something like that, 10 or 12 weeks worth of episodes that I didn't even consult God or ask God if I had permission to do. Cause I was just trying to do me. I was trying to create this image of what I thought would, would, um, get me to success get me to recognition, get me to praise. And before I even recorded the first episode, God already told me, all that stuff you concerned about, you might as well dead that. 
because this platform will be used for my glory. This opportunity will be used for souls to be saved, for people to come back to me. <clears throat> so all the selfish things that I was thinking about engaging in, just so I can look good, so I can feel good, God was like, uh-uh, no, got the wrong one. Got the wrong one. Because what God is doing here and what God is doing in your life and in your ministry and in your household and in your business is not for praise for you. It's not for gratification just for you. I'm not saying you can't celebrate what you're doing because this is a celebration right here. Hey. What I'm saying is let it not be your intention first to please your flesh. Let it always be an opportunity to turn whatever it is that you're doing back to God. Just like our good sis, um, Sam. Like she said, we just shouted her out at the beginning, beginning of this episode. She is a gifted photographer. Gifted. But when I asked her to send me some information about her business, you know what she said? She related every single intention of her business back to the glory of God. Back to the glory of God. She says, I want people to not just gain, you know, um, physical images of themselves through my portraits, but I want them to see that they are made in the image of God intentionally and that my business has a purpose to point back to the glory of God. Every single thing that she sent me was intended to glorify God through her business. That's what the Lord wants from us. That's the heart posture God wants from us. Yes, the world will tell you, get your glory, get your praise. And there's nothing wrong with be, with being celebrated. But to be different. And what does it mean to be different in Christian? What it means to be Christian is to be different. It is. It means to be different. And serving God by serving his people. Me and in this in this society to where everything is like captured on the phone. You could be feeding someone that is hungry and, and your phone in a face. Look what I'm doing, y'all. I'm feeding a homeless man. See? He got a double-double, and I put some extra fries in there. Put your phone down. You don't always have to let folks know that you're doing good. You don't always have to let people know what you out here serving folks. So for what? So you can receive recognition? Or can we... Even when we do or have opportunity to record if it so happens to be captured, what is your message? What is your message? Or even if it's not captured, <coughs> serving others should be your pleasure. Even when no one is watching. Serving others should be our pleasure. Even when no one else is watching. Can you serve without recognition? Can you give without expecting things in return? Can you love even when it's hard to be? Can we do things without expecting things back? Can we serve God and serve his people without the recognition? Can we? 
that's different, right? Because our flesh wants us and wants gratification. Our f- our flesh wants recognition. But can you do it even when there isn't an audience watching? Can you do it? This place, I promise you, has given me opportunity, this show I'm speaking of, has given me opportunity to serve people in ways I don't even share. There have been so many opportunities to serve, especially my sisters in Christ from all over the world. And it's not because of Kendra is doing good. It's not because Kendra is so whatever. It's not because of me. It's because God has given me the opportunity and the privilege to serve him and his people. And if one person listens to this episode and is encouraged, my job is done. Yeah, two years ago, I I struggled with trying to create this big, huge outcome. popularity of recognition on my own but I tell you this when I surrendered that God did some things that blew my mind connected me with people that I thought I would never be connected with and did it because I was I I dared to be different I dared to submit my will I dared to submit the idea of selfish gain and I'm still learning year two and I'm still learning what it means to serve God I'm still learning what it means to listen to what he is saying I'm still learning and I'm honored and privileged to be here. I am. And I thank everyone for being a part of this journey and always supporting and and covering and praying um, over this ministry. I, I, I truly, truly, truly appreciate you all. Ah, so happy to your anniversary to us. Happy anniversary to us. And I hope that this, hmm, what do we call it? This recollection, this moment of reminiscing um, was a blessing that if you are someone that has been gifted with a talent with the business, spiritual gift, whatever it is. Let's realign with what God wants to do and use through you. And I say through you because he can use anything. If he can use a photographer, if he can use a stylist, if he can use a singer, if he could use um, a caretaker, if he can use an artist, He could use you. If he could use a podcast host, he can use you. So dare to trust God with your gift and your talent. Surrender that to him. He'll multiply it. Dare to go against what is popular for the sake of his purpose 
Dare to be different. Dare to be different. All right, y'all. That is the word on the street for this week. I'm just super excited. I might just give me some apple cider and cheers. <laughs> two years. Cheers to two years. Um, until next time, beautiful people. Oh, look, I'm over here rushing. Let's pray. Let us pray. Um, Father, we thank you. We praise you. We give you glory. We give you honor. You are truly good. You are faithful. God, I thank you so much for showing yourself faithful over the past two years with this show. We've brought so many wonderful guests through, so many powerful prayer warriors. You've spoken to your people through messages, God, that they needed to hear for that day that they needed to hear for that moment, that they needed to hear for a specific season in their lives. And God, you've used me to do it. I'm not worthy to do it. But you still chose me for it. I praise you. I give you glory. I give you honor. And God, I'm praying for my brother and sister that is listening to this. God, I pray that you guide them and lead them in the, in the way that they should go, that you direct them and encourage them, speak to them, God, that everything that they do, let it be unto your glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, y'all, until next week, beautiful people. See ya. <laughs>